Hi everybody, today is Friday, May 1st, 2020. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I'm going to read from Dark Day in the Blue Sea, Chapter 9. It's called Think, Think. Where's my backpack? Jack yelled to Annie. What? Annie said. My backpack, said Jack. Don't worry about that now, said Annie. We have to... The wand, the wand, Jack interrupted her. Oh, said Annie, the wand. We have to find my pack, fast, said Jack. Jack and Annie pushed past the sailors, crowding the railing. They ran across the deck. Did you bring it in the rowboat, yelled Annie. Yes, but I don't know, said Jack. I can't remember. Think, think, said Annie. Jack tried to think as they ran around the upper deck of the ship. Did I have it in the rowboat? What happened in the rowboat? I felt sick in the rowboat. I hugged my backpack in the rowboat. I remember, Jack shouted. I was holding on to it when we first came aboard. Then it's here somewhere, said Annie. The ward room, said Jack. Hurry, cried Annie. Jack and Annie raced down two flights of steps. They looked at the ward room. Jack's pack wasn't there. Henry's lab, said Annie. Yes, yes, it's in there, Jack cried. I remember now. I left it on the table. I put it down when I looked through the microscope. Jack and Annie ran up one flight of steps to Henry's lab. They tried to open the door, but it was locked. We need Henry, said Jack. We don't have time, said Annie. We don't have a choice, said Jack. Jack and Annie charged up back or charged back up the stairs to the upper deck. The crew was still gathered at the end of the deck, yelling and shrieking about the octopus. Henry was coming toward them. Henry, help us, said Annie. She raced to Henry and grabbed him by the arm. She pulled him toward the stairs. You have to unlock the lab. We have to get Jack's pack. Hurry, hurry. Why? What? spotted Henry. We'll explain later, said Jack. Just hurry, said Annie. Henry looked baffled, but he walked quickly and led Jack and Annie down the stairs. They nearly pushed him across the hall toward his lab. The scientist pulled out his key and unlocked the door. Jack and Annie burst into the lab. Yay, said Annie. Jack's pack was on the table. Jack grabbed it and tore it open. He pulled out the wand of Dianthus. The silver spiraled wand gleamed in the dim light of the room. What is that? asked Henry. We'll explain later, said Annie. Come on, let's go back up, said Jack. No, we don't have time, cried Annie. Use it now, Jack. Say something now before they hurt him. Jack held up the wand. Five words, said Annie. I know, said Jack. But what five words? This was their only chance. Hurry, said Annie. I am, said Jack. But we can't just save him this one time. We have to make sure the ship never, ever tries to hurt him or others like him again. Jack closed his eyes. He pictured the giant octopus, his umbrella-like body and long tentacles, the gaze of his yellow eyes, a gaze that had curiosity and shyness. This is the picture. Jack thought of the sheer wonder of the octopus's existence. The giant sea animal was incredibly amazing. He was like a miracle. Jack wished he and Annie could explain the miracle of the octopus to everyone, but no one would listen to them. Unless... Hurry, Jack, say the words, said Annie. Make them hear the truth. The words had burst out of Jack. What, said Annie? Make them hear the truth. Truth, said Jack. His eyes were shut tight. That's my wish. Make all the guys upstairs hear the truth about the octopus. What are you talking about, said Henry. What is that stick you're waving? Jack opened his eyes. He shook his head at Annie, but she didn't see him. It's a magic wand, Annie said to Henry. Actually, said Jack, trying to think of something else to say. Oh, oh, yes, I see, said Henry. He smiled sadly. You're pretending. 
like children. We are children, said Annie. Come on, Jack, let's go tell, tell them the truth. And that's the end of chapter 9. So tomorrow I'll read chapter 10. And now you have a math lesson coming up, so make sure that you have your math ready. Hi, boys and girls. It is Friday. Can you guess where I am? Dear Miss Nelson's awesome third grade class, have a great summer. Thank you for being such an incredible class of third graders. Can't wait to see you in the fall. Love, Miss Nelson. If you're still not sure where I am, I'll do a little quick walkabout so you can see. I'm about to pack all your desk things up and get them ready for you all to come and get them on Monday, May 4th from 11 to 4.30. Please try to make it so I can see you and say goodbye for the summer. Do you remember our class? Hope to see you boys and girls. Have a great day. Bye.